Hello everyone, it is Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and today I am bringing you a very special video. I'm out at the Warner Boyce Salt Springs State Park. It's a mouthful, guys. And I'm going to be bringing you some information um, about the state park, and we're gonna speak, be speaking to three incredible individuals um, to provide us some information, give you guys some events that are coming up, and just show another great part of Pasco. I mean, I love all of our surrounding counties. I do, wasn't raised here, but you guys know I'm more than hashtag Pasco proud. And it's just, a, and this is just another way to show that. So stay tuned. Everyone. So I have members from the Warner Boys Salt Springs State Park Salt Springs Alliance here with me today and we're gonna talk to you about the state park and just it's actually the only full state park that's in Pasco County. Did I say that correctly? So we're gonna give you some information on all that they have to offer the Salt Springs Alliance and of course I'm gonna put an address in the description for you guys so that you can come out and visit yourself. So who do we have with us today? Start this way. I'm Tammy Carr. I'm the president of Salt Springs Alliance. Nice to have you. Thank you. <laughs> Who we have? Adam Belder, Adam. park manager. Ooh, ooh. Who else? Yeah. I am Yana Yala, the Vice President of Salt Springs Alliance. Happy to have all of you. Our viewers are saying hello now. I know that they actually yes. are. Okay, so Salt Springs Alliance or the Warner Boyce Salt Springs State Park. That's a mouthful, everyone. I just want you to try to say that five times fast. <laughs> nobody, can. Nobody, nobody can. Nobody can. I, can, I can't yes. even say it once. Okay, so talk to us. Go ahead, give us a little bit of history about the park itself, first of all. Well, I think the history on the park, that's Adam. That's Take Adam. That yeah. Yeah. So the park opened in 2001. Okay. It's 4,000 acres. It protects the shoreline of Port Ritchie. Okay. So it's about four and a half miles long and Pretty long. One of the main functions it does for the environment is it filters all the water that comes out of Port Ritchie and out into the Gulf. Okay, very uh, cool. For the community, it mm -hmm. provides four and a half miles of hiking trail. Love it. We have the kayak rentals here. We have some of the best birding you're going to find in this area because we've got the uplands birds and the shore. <laughs> uh, it's a great place to see roseate spoonbills, which is, yes. I think, everybody's favorite. Yes, uh, I don't, I'm gonna Google that, everyone. I'm a Florida native, but I'm going to Google that. <laughs> yeah. There are some great. And then, uh, did I say kayaking? You so, did, we have some great kayaking, <laughs> yes. So, fishing. If we're gonna go kayaking, okay. we're gonna go fishing. It's Boom. some of the best fishing in the area. The trout, the redfish, the black okay. drum, the snook, and just remember you can't keep redfish or snook right now, but Throw they're a lot back. of fun to catch. Throw it back. Catch and release, everyone. There you catch go. and release. Skinny water. Skinny yes. water fishing. I don't, what does that mean? What is that? Wait, why don't I know that term? Why don't I know that term? Yeah, what kind of I know, exactly. Well, I know, I'm just giving it away. I'm just giving it away. I am. Okay, so that is the state park, and the park is open, I'm assuming, sunrise to sunset. So 8 a.m. Okay. to sunset okay. every day of the year. Okay, boom, guys. So come out, come visit. We can come hike together. If you're local, don't make a drive just to come hike with me. I'm not that interesting. All right, <laughs> so let's talk about the Salt Springs Alliance. How does that? That's, that happens a lot. <laughs> that happens a lot to me too. Pasco County Sheriff's Office. Oh, boom, Sheriff's Office. boom, it's my boss probably. It's my boss. Did she, show up? Did she show up to do her job? <laughs> So okay, yeah, I have you beautiful here, really. ladies. I, I am doing this, okay? <laughs> give us the give us the facts, the good stuff. All right, I'll give you mm. the good stuff. The Salt Springs Alliance mm -hmm. is the citizen support organization okay. for Warner Boys Salt Springs State mm -hmm. Park. Okay. What people don't realize most mm -hmm. of the time is that your admission to parks and all the, the infrastructure that, mm -hmm. that's here is provided by the state. But your admission okay. goes to all the state parks around. Did not know that. And what happens is to enhance our park and mm -hmm. to provide all of the things that really make a park great for the community, you need a citizen support organization okay. that helps raise funds. We raise funds for the park and 100% of it goes back to the park. 
four That's things nice. that make it better. It's all volunteer organization. No one is paid. It goes back oh, for wow. things like interpretive mm -hmm. uh, kiosks, mm -hmm. uh, historical uh, uh, programs, mm -hmm. hikes, kayaking, okay. things that we do for the community, as well as enhancing our park and helping our park manager get what he needs to keep the park going. Park manager. Park manager. <laughs> back. <laughs> back. Okay, okay. How do you, is that like a, how do individuals that are local or I guess, I mean, anywhere they want yeah. to join the citizen support, how do they join? Well, all you have to do is go to our website. You can mm -hmm. become a member and you join. Uh, there's uh, various fees from 20 for senior citizens mm -hmm. to 35 for a whole household. 100% okay. of that comes back to the park. We also have fundraising organ um, activities. Oh, that that's awesome. Help raise, like kayak. Uh, mm -hmm kayak outings and we do uh concerts and concerts yes, december 15th concert seriously in the park. Yes. yes go ahead i'll put that in the description below for you guys yes, i love that and i love it that it has like a vip brunch mm -hmm. where you can uh sit under a tent be part of the vip That's experience awesome. yes, and it's here chef, at the park a local it's... chef will be cooking yes oh. our I love that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's yeah. awesome. So, um, and that, uh, again, is one of our big fundraisers mm -hmm. uh, here at the park. So we hold various activities to help okay. uh, give funds back to the park. I, ho I know you mentioned something about puppies and kayaking. What, what is, you guys know I'm always looking out for my boy Blue. What What is that? Is that a part of like the like events that you guys have and whatnot? Um, How does that work? We have some uh, events where, you know, you, they're of course pet friendly because mm -hmm. this state park is extremely pet friendly. Bring your love dog. Love it, Bring your love dog. it. Yes. Love uh, it. We have held some charity events mm -hmm. here from Oktoberfest to um, Paddling Adventures. Has a pet Fest. paddle that benefits rapplerescue.org, mm -hmm. one of our love local that. Uh, uh, pet charities mm -hmm. here. So there's a bunch of things going mm -hmm. on because, again, it's one of the state parks that enable pets to be here and you don't find too many of that. You do not, even though it's 2018 and you should, but what do I know about that? <laughs> okay, so for all of the information, all of the resources, they can go to the website, any social media links, I will make sure that all of you guys have that in the description. Yep, saltspringsalliance.com. I love it. And we have a Facebook page. Yep. Follow them, guys. Yes. Like and follow. Yes. You know how that's I feel about you, that. That's when you can find out about things like sunset paddles and how to be a part of it. I love how it. How to find a private launch site right here at uh, Warner Boys Salt Springs Boom. State Park to go out on the moonlight. And... Guys, we're not. We love our surrounding counties, but like if you can do it in house, like why not just go in your backyard? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this is truly a jewel that people do mm -hmm. not know um, exists here, and it uh, it just keeps getting better mm -hmm. and better with our park manager Adam making it special for everybody. Hey, doing a great job. <laughs> Shout out to Adam. So what I want to know, it's been mentioned interpretive history. What is what does that even mean? Like what what is interpretive history? I think of interpretive dancing. It's not the same as it's it? the same thing. Is it? Yes. I love it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Break it down for our <laughs> Okay. So one of our missions with the park service with mm -hmm. each individual park there's 175 state parks in Florida, so wow. that's 175 yeah. different communities that mm -hmm. have their own state park. That means that we have an opportunity in each community to interpret your history, to keep your history alive. Okay. And that's one of our main focuses here, something we've been working on for the last two and a half years. The history of the park dates back to the Tokaboggan Indians that like first were here and we know they hunted here, we know mm -hmm. they fished here, we don't know if they lived here. Here. Like, here. here. Okay, right here. Yeah. here. I love right it. Where right where I'm standing, yeah. Yeah. things went down. There's a chance you could see an artifact just walking through the park. I love so that. that's that's your first mm -hmm. history, mm -hmm. first living history in the okay. park. And we move forward to things like the cattle ranchers that mm -hmm. came in. That's another part of history when we want to be able to interpret in the future as uh, the cattle ranchers that actually found the salt springs, like the one behind me. That's cool. Yeah. It, was actually, I think it, I think it was, was actually the, ca the cows. It was actually the cows. cows. Yeah. 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 Animals lead us to everything. The, the ranchers salt found the cows. Yeah. What would they we be without our animals? Because mm -hmm. the salt springs were so heavily laden with salt that mm -hmm. uh, there's actually back in the history books it says that a rock would be delayed as it was sink. Uh, and it was yeah. just so great. So it actually it. brought the community here mm -hmm. even to get their salt because before refrigeration, they needed the salt. Exactly. Which is oh. another big piece of the history that we're Love trying it. to interpret uh, with a joint project with our CSO, the Salt Springs Alliance. We're building the Salt Works. Uh, it's about salt halfway works. through now. Salt works alive. Salt like works alive. It. I like it, alive. it. We're bringing it alive. That's right. Yep. Living history. And the idea is you'll be able to come out and make salt the same way they did 150 years ago. 
like we're and we're gonna like bottle salt it in to little eat, tiny bottles. like salt that we can sprinkle on. No, we okay. are talking about no. salt. No. Okay, so never special. mind. So never mind, everyone. You're gonna want to keep it in a little exactly. <laughs> <'Cause it's laughs> not open it. My bad. Not open it. Just keep it. But that's really stinking cool. Yeah. Okay. In fact, uh, the donation mm -hmm. that you have provided will Yay, enhance go PSO. and will be part of that Salt Works Alive project. I love project. it. I love it. That's what we uh we uh gave a check and it's already spent. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. Right. We, that we, is what that is. Come so to the park and see the money exactly. change into something else. Exactly. <laughs> so when are we hoping that it's going to be open? Like summer 2019? It can maybe? be viewed right now. Okay. You can see the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. You can Very see cool. what an actual salt works look like right now. Mm -hmm. What you'll see coming in the future is the interpretive displays. Uh, we have some of the original tools that were used that we've recreated that'll be going in the shadow box out there. Cool. So really you can start looking at it now mm -hmm. and, and watch it change, yes. watch it grow until the day that we actually make salt with you. I and uh, really that will be early uh, in, in January. So, and we're, we have a big concert coming up in December 15th. Here. Boom, don't forget yeah. everyone. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you would want to come out, take a look at that Salt Works Alive that and it works well. out. And is there maybe there's something about a skunk ape? <laughs> skunk, yeah. Our Floridians out there. Well, one of our yes, uh, <laughs> yes. If you know, then you know. know the skunk mm -hmm. ape. Because if you're a real, true Floridian, you would know yes. what a skunk ape is. <laughs> and uh, one, you know, we do fundraisers to mm -hmm. help uh, to help the park. And one of our big ones outside of the concerts coming up at the 1215 for Hungry Town is also uh, this the uh, the great skunk ape adventure hunting it. trail run that'll be coming up in April. Uh, we've we'll be holding our third annual, and it really is a great and fun time for both uh, runners but also families. It's mm -hmm. a family friendly, fun adventure hunt, and the skunk ape always makes an appearance. Always, always. guys, always. Yeah. You think Florida Man was real? The Skunk Ape <laughs> is going to give you a run for and your money. Werner Boys Salt Springs State Park is a home of right here. incredible sighting. Back right here. In it's, right oh, yeah. it's a fact. It's, it's a, a fact. fact. It is. It's still here. Credible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Everyone enjoying the park as is. Look, I'm telling you guys, come and enjoy. Boom. Yes. So thank you guys all for giving us the information, for talking to us. And yeah, maybe you'll see one of these faces out here next time you guys come. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? No, you well, become a member. Yeah. You'll see Boom. us all the Boom. time. Boom! There you go. Just a little <laughs> yeah. plug. All right. That's right. You'll see us. Okay, everyone. So that wraps up. Just a lot of information and a lot of good things about the Warner Boys Salt Springs State Park. So I hope all of you get the opportunity to come out and visit one day. Uh, but if you have any questions that aren't already answered in the description, let me know and I'll get the answers to you. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day.